Hi everybody, welcome back to the Kid Friendly Video Channel. Thanks for coming back again. And if you're new here, this is your first time and you're not a subscriber, what we're doing is we're taking cars from Pixar cars, any one of them actually, we're taking cars like Mater and painting them different colors. Like there's Mater and Zebra Stripes. And we're also making the cars from Demolition Derby in Cars 3. Look, we made all kinds of cars here. So this is cars from Leakless, that's Pushover. See that, that came pretty good. We're painting them ourselves with our handy dandy paint from the dollar store. And uh, we're, turn we're trying to make them look a bit like it. Look, we took this car and bent it. This is another leakless, actually. This is Snot Rod, we turned it into Tailgate. And this is Ivan uh, from Cars 2, we turned him into Broadside. And there's, look, this is actually Jackson Storm dressed up as Next Generation Lightning McQueen. And here we have uh, Mustang Burger, uh, I think, or it's our car trip, converted into T-Bone from the Demolition Derby. And Chimichanga, you never guess what this is unless you watch the video of me making it. I made this out of Finn McMissile. What do you think of that, folks? And all kinds of other cars over here, too. And I, sometimes I don't know what to do, what, what to make, and somebody will leave a comment and say, why don't you make such and such? Uh, and this one here I made, actually, this is Fishtail. I made him out of Mario Andretti, the car from Cars 1. I bent the, bent the back in the vice, but I forgot to put on Bill. Wild Bills is here. I put Wild there. I didn't know what the other word was, but somebody sent in a comment and told me, it says, Wild Bills. So between uh, coats of what I'm doing today, I'm going to put the word Bills in there. Finish off the car. And here's the car that started it all. It's Lightning McQueen. Uh, in, in actually, it's the um, primer version of Lightning McQueen. See? This is what it was in Cars 3. Just like out there, except that there wasn't red and orange. It was all red. So anyway, this is what started it all. Now we're making all kinds of cars. And just this morning, I read the comments, and somebody said, why not I make Superfly? And I said, Superfly? What the heck? I never heard of Superfly. So there, friends, is Superfly. Look, it's a car from Cars 3, one of the Demolition Derby cars. Here's a better view of it. And I looked around, there's a big thing in the front here. I don't know if they will make that. That looks like it's uh, the engine intake. But what I'm gonna use to make that, believe it or not, at first I looked at it and they said, gee, it looks a bit like Lightning McQueen almost. I was gonna use one of my Lightning McQueens. Then I looked closer and I saw that it looks more like Nigel Gearsley from Cars 2. Now, I have two Nigel Gearsleys. I have the original and this silver one. And I don't really want to, I don't really want to destroy my original one. So I'm going to put original Nigel Gearsy over there out of the way. And I'm going to take this car here and I'm going to snap off his mirrors. See this car has no mirrors. And I'm going to paint this primer gray first. And then I'm going to put the all blue, green doors, blue wheels, green tires on both sides. And then we're going to put the number 72 on the door in yellow outlined in black. So the first thing we're going to do folks is take this here and prime the whole car, including the windows except the windshield and all primer gray. Let's do that right now. Okay, we have a bottle of primer here. In case you're wondering what it is, it's American Multi-Surface Satin, satin uh, Primer Paint. It's just a uh, dollar store paint. It's gray, actually. But I like to paint them primer first because it brings out all the colors better when I put the second and third coats on the right color. So we're going to color this whole car, starting right here, and probably just one coat of primer, and then we'll come back. And actually, I'm going to do the tires and wheels, too, because there's no... There's nothing not painted here. I can't wait to do this car. It's awesome. It looked the most like like um, Superfly than all the other cars combined, actually. Originally, I thought maybe Lightning McQueen would look like it, but after I closely looked at this one here, no comparison. This guy is way better looking like Superfly than the rest of them. And when I, when I finish putting this paint on, I'm going to go back to uh, Fishtail and add the word Bill on the side of the door there. I blew it there. I couldn't make out the name until someone, someone very nicely reminded me today on, on one of my comments that it says, a big long comment actually, it said um, Wild Bill something something something. I'm not sure it was a bait star or something. It's pretty cool though. Okay, this is going on nicely folks. Uh, I'm going to put my finger right in the paint on the wheels. Yes I am. One side. Oh well, I'll do that again anyway. As long as I get this Nice primer coat on first. And thanks guys for watching my video on Fishtail. It was one of the most popular videos I uploaded. I got almost 10,000 views in one day, which is a record for me. My goodness, thanks very much. I appreciate you. Um, I'm uploading on a regular basis, daily almost. Uh, actually, most every day. And uh, you guys are up bright and early, and you're flicking on my channel, and you're watching the video, and sending me comments. Really appreciate that. Um, it makes it all worthwhile. I uh, hope they all stay that successful and I hope you keep on watching. How many of you out there watched the video more than once? Have you come back and watched it a couple of times? Because I'm getting lots of repeat views. So I think some of you guys are watching the video two or three times and I really appreciate that. Makes it makes it worthwhile, like I said. And when this is dry, I'll come back and snap those mirrors off because there's no mirrors on, on this picture here. See? So we're just going to cut the mirrors off of the pliers. So I'll put this up to heat lamp to dry and I'll get out the paint to finish off 
tail, fish tail. Okay, this is my orange paint. I'll put a little bit right here. Doesn't take much. And I have a special brush here I've been using. I cut off 90% of the fibers on it. So I can just very lightly write with the pen. Uh oh, I had a lot of ink on that one. I had a lot of, a lot of ink, a lot of paint. Now I'll write the word bills right here. Wild bills. Wow. Thanks, folks, for sending in those comments. It makes a difference. <clears throat> now I'll do the same on the other side. Oh, not much room on this side because I kind of didn't know what to do. Bills. There you go. Wild bills. Now fishtail is complete. Now if you want to go back, there's a button up here. If you didn't see this video, click that button there. It'll take you back to the playlist this video is in so you can watch me make uh, fishtail out of Mario Andretti. So we can put that down now. There it is. Finished. Now let's see if Superfly is dry. So the color for um, Superfly is kind of like a it's not that color blue, and it's not this color blue, but when I blend them together, I'm gonna to get a nice combination color. I mix these two paints together, and I'm pretty sure it might be close. Yeah, that's about it, folks. Here's the right color, look. Mix up those two paints, and that's just right. Now I can do the whole car in this blue. Actually, I might add some more, because I don't think I have enough there for the whole car, and I will need two coats. So a little bit more, just to get the right amount. See if that's correct. Yeah, right on folks. Okay, we'll come back and we'll paint that car right now. This beautiful blue color and the wheels and tires. Okay, it looks like the paint's pretty much dry. Now I can get this beautiful blue and put, I'm gonna put two coats on this to make sure it's good and rich. Oh yeah, and the windows too, gonna be all covered with blue. Tires, blue, and then I'll put the red, I mean the green, the green tires on later. The wheels are blue actually, the tires are green. So I can just touch up the outside edges of all the tires and make sure they're perfectly covered. I don't know if I can blow through that. <laughs> it didn't make much difference this time. It helps sometimes when the, when the holes in the wheels are bigger. But anyway, that's okay. I may have to put some play doh on the front. Um, someone mentioned I should put play doh when I have to put a, a roof thing on the engine hood thing on. Yeah, it's going on really nice. Really good, actually. Perfect. I've got to cut the mirrors off. Hang on a second. I'm trying to make it look as close as we can to the demolition derby car. There's no way a demolition derby car has nice fancy mirrors like that. Nigel Gears just happens to look like Superfly. It's not really Superfly, but um, I never saw Superfly in Walmart yet, so I'm not sure if it's uh, released yet. Like I heard one guy told me that uh, Fair Game, the die cast I made here, this one here is not released yet, and that's the taxi, and I used. I think it's Daryl Cartrip to make that. See, beautiful taxi, number 42, demolition derby car. I didn't know it wasn't released yet because we uh, we don't normally get a lot of the cars up here where I live, so we have to make our own sometimes. And that's how this started. I didn't have the car I wanted. I wanted Primer McQueen originally, but there's no way that was even out yet. So I ended up making my own. And I actually ended up making um, Fabulous Doc Hudson and uh, Fabulous Lightning McQueen. And Fabulous Lightning McQueen, I just picked it up yesterday, just released where I live. Brand spanking new, Fabulous Lightning McQueen. I don't even want to open it up, it looks too good. It's beautiful. Okay, almost done here. I'm going to come back in a few minutes, put a second coat on, and then, um, oh, that looks good. Get the wheels done completely. And when I put the green on, it'll look just like it. Oh, yeah, a lot of yellow on it, too, folks. Okay, and the spoiler is like a brown with the yellow things on the edge. Okay, there we go. That's pretty much it. The last wheel, I'll put it up to dry, and we'll come back when it's dry and put the green on, uh, on, the, on the doors and across the roof and on the wheels, the tires I mean. Well folks, I was going to put a second coat on this, but I don't think I need it. I'm just going to go with that blue and I put the green right here and I'll put some green on the doors and the tires and it goes right across the roof and on the other side. So let's uh, see what that looks like there. It's kind of like a smeared the door. Not too bad. I have the right number 72 in yellow. And uh, the green around, I'll do the wheels separately in a minute. So I'll turn this around. I'll do the same on this side. It looks good. And it's nothing fancy. It's a demolition derby car. You don't have to be fancy. And it goes right across the roof, over the windows too. Right over the windows. 
is actually looking really good. Exactly like the car is going to look like when it's done. I think this is going to be one of the best ones ever. I hope. Okay, so that's that's about it for the for the green. And now I'll do two front tires first in green, and then do the two back ones later. Okay, that way I'll get them all done at once. Let's see if I can get this on nice and smooth. That came pretty nice. Now turn it over to the other one. Let's see if I can get this all in one shot. Looking good. Okay, now I'm going to touch up that green again because it's kind of, I'm not sure if it's drying too fast or what. It's kind of disappearing. Maybe I'll put two coats of green on when I come back when it dries. Then I'll do the rest of the tires too. And the spoiler is actually a sandy brown. Okay, I might put another coat on that later. Um, we'll see how it looks when it dries. It might be okay because it's only demolition derby car. It doesn't have to be fancy. Okay, let's see that dry there. Okay, actually that came pretty nice. The green is okay. The blue is okay. Now I'm gonna get the yellow, and the yellow kind of goes um, on the door number 72 on the door and the roof, and it's highlighted in black later on. So we're just gonna get a, a fine brush and smear on yellow like a 72, and then we'll come back and um, try and make it. Uh, Highlight 72 with black. Okay, so it's 70. 72. Oh, it's a nice 7. Okay, that looks good. And there's one on the roof as well. 72. This here. It's going to look a lot better when it's finished off. And on this door here, 72. This is the picture side, so this is the best one. The picture side means this is the one I make the thumbnail from. This side view. And let's see, there's also a yellow band that goes right across the top, starting here and here. Okay, and now there's yellow around both wheels the, the, by the by the the quarter panel, I guess they call it, around here, and on the other side, I'll do two sides at a time, see if I can get that looking good. I gotta thank you guys again for keeping to watching the videos, it really helps, and leave any comments, and hit the like button, I got so many likes on these videos, it's, it's, I love it, thanks very much. Now, I think I can get the yellow around this front wheel too, without doing any damage meaning not getting the paint all over the place. Yeah, that came nice, look at that, wow. And um, original Superfly, so was it right, original Superfly there? That's not gonna happen, that's too tiny. Okay, now I'll get this last part here. Then I can put the green on the back wheels. Wow, nice. Now, the green brush, get the green out for the back tires. Let's see if I can get that without, without getting on too much stuff. Well, good folks. Nigel Gears was the perfect choice. I never would have thought of that. Like I said, first I thought it was going to be Lightning McQueen. Hey, check that out. And then I saw the um, Nigel Gears in the box and I said, that's it. It's perfect. The spoiler. I have to do the um, spoiler and brown in a second too. Sandy Brown. That's going to be nice to do. I don't know if I have Sandy Brown, but the look in the box. I never used that color before. Okay, look at that, folks. That's pretty good. Now leave this dry and get the brown out and I'll do the spoiler. I'll try this color first, see how dark it is. Much too dark, so I'm gonna add a little bit of white to dilute that down. More like a sandy brown and not a dark brown. That's pretty close. It also has yellow on the edges, but I'm not gonna bother with the yellow. I might put a little stripe there or something. Oh, actually number 72 is written on the side. Okay, there's the right color brown for the spoiler. So the paint's pretty dry now. Let's get the brown, I'll put that on next, okay? Here goes. What do you think, that's pretty close, pretty close color. Now the spoiler's bigger on that car, but that's okay, I'm not worried about it. I don't know if I can write 72 on that, that's for sure, I don't have much room. And the bumpers are black, so I have to get the black out. 
into the front bumper and the back bumper and wrap around black. Okay, let's get the uh, black out right now. Okay, and we have a little brush right here. Lots of things dropping off the shelf, folks, that's all. Okay, here goes black all on here. That's nice. I love when that comes in the gut there. And the back bumper, I'll do the back bumper anyway. I can't really see the picture that says what it is, but I'm gonna assume it's black. Now, you know there's no real lights on these demolition derby cars because they'll be smashing the pieces as soon as they go out there. So that'll be pointless, okay? So there, so far, I have to get uh, something black on the hood, like it's supposed to be an engine sticking out of the top there. So I'm just gonna paint a big black box there. Now, I may stick some Play-Doh on there for the photo. You'll see what I mean in a few minutes. I'm gonna let this dry and put a little blob there with some things sticking up. I'm not sure if that's gonna work out. Though. We'll try it. Okay, now all I need now is a fine point black brush to put the number 72 in black highlights. Okay, that's pretty much dry now. So I'm gonna get uh, my fine point black, uh, my fine point brush and write the number 72 inside the yellow. Outside the yellow, I mean, sorry. Just all the way around it. Just highlights the number that's all so it looks clear. Nice so far. And the two, this is gonna be a little easier on the two, I think, because uh, I have more paint on the brush. Seventy-two. Now the top. And we we'll really want to do something with the uh, the engine blower, the part there. I might put the Play-Doh on there after all. Seventy-two. Seventy-two. Okay, that looks nice. And on this side, this is the the photograph side. I mean. Seventy-two. Wow, that came pretty nice. Now there's actually a, a 72 written in yellow on the spoiler. I'll see if I can do that very carefully. I don't know if I can or not. Same brush. I'll just try and write 72 here. Mm, close. And how about the other side? See if I can get that looking almost like a 72 or something close to it. That's not bad, it looks like a three, but it's actually a two. Okay, let's see what else we have to do, folks. We got 72 on there. Um, something else in yellow. Original Superfly is written right here, so I'm gonna try my best to write Superfly right here. S-U-P-E-R-F-L-Y. I hard to make that out, but it's actually written there. Now the other part, the hard part, I should say, the other side, oh my God, not much room to write here, folks. Superfly, S, U G, not G S U P E R F L Y, Superfly. Wow, that's pretty cool. And is it done now? Let's be. Let's have a look. Um, the number seventy-two is on the roof and the doors. Superfly is written there. The spoiler. And there's a bit of black thrown in around it, but that's okay. I wonder if I put some black play-doh on the top. How would that look? Let's try it. So I took a bit of black play-doh. I made a a ball first, and I made it into a square, and I cut it down the middle and it made six little look like pipes and I'm gonna put that right on top of Superfly right on the engine where that goes wow that looks pretty pretty darn good very similar to the one you buy actually that's really close look at that 72 Superfly same color wheels everything's right on same color spoiler um, would you say this is pretty good hit the like button if you think it's perfect uh, please give me a comment and share and there's a button here to subscribe you know how to subscribe most of my viewers come from non-subscribers so please subscribe and you get updates every day okay so there you go folks super fly thanks for the suggestion okay let's get this place cleaned up and have a look at it with the other cars well there it is folks super fly as requested check it out this is actually nigel gearsley i even got the play-doh hood ornament on it with the blowers for the intake on the engine and let's have a look at the rest of the cars here uh, if you're a first time coming here, like I said, you can go back and watch our videos up here. There's playlists all over the place. And we're looking for, always looking for ideas. I've got a good good idea that to paint this guy as fabulous Miss Fritter someday. Not quite sure. And somebody wants me to paint Jackson Storm as 
fabulous Jackson Storm with the blue color in a tribute to Doc Hodgson. What do you think of that, folks? Well, I paint him in fabulous colors. I already did it in zebra. There's a zebra Jackson Storm. Somebody wants rainbow Jackson Storm. I got lots of Jackson Storms, so if you want me to do it, just keep on saying in the comment section. Eventually, I'll get to it. And there's high impact. Oh, they have lots of cars here. And one of my, two of my favorites here, they're um, hit and miss. They're actually gremlins from Cars 2 converted. Remember that video? That's pretty cool. And we have the Rainbow Bus Fillmore. This is one of the first rainbow jobs. And TJ, which is Dr. Damage for the Demolition Derby Series. And over here we have the Zebra cars. We got Zebra the King, Zebra Sir Miles Axelrod, Zebra Surge. Oh my god, lots of Zebra cars. And uh, let's see, one of my favorites, of course, is Pushover with the teeth. That was really hard to do, but it turned out great. And Bill's right here. Oh yeah, I was gonna ask you, do you wanna see um, Luigi and Guido in primer colors? And maybe zebra colors? What do you think? Someone said I should do Patty as um, Luigi. What do you think? Will I turn Luigi into Patty? Or will I use Sally as Patty? What do you think? Leave it in the comment section, folks. And any of your suggestions, anything you can think of, let me know. And thanks for watching, and have a great day.